中近東に巨大な隕石が落下しそれ以来不思議な事件が次々と起こっている Scientific expeditions searching for the meteorite have vanished without a trace Now Adam Jeffers arrives from the United States to seek the help of the science patrol So, we've been requested now to lend a hand Good. Our science patrol is prepared to go anywhere on Earth. Ito, sir, this assignment sounds difficult. Oh, that's all right. Just recently, the French sent an expedition into the mysterious desert area, and it was never seen again. Okay. And so no one knows anything about the whole thing. It remains a complete mystery. Mm -hmm. Adam, where did the meteorite fall? Here. Right here. A mysterious area. You'll learn it's very hot and there's no water. A small town isn't far away, though it's nearly deserted. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go there. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Fuji. Sir? You'll remain here. Oh. Okay. Captain Mura, I'd like to go along with the science patrol. My orders are to accompany you on this trip. Oh, good. It's an honor to have you along on the expedition. Sir, the ship's ready. A hundred miles further to go. Hmm. Fuji, Fuji, we're almost there. We're about to enter the danger zone. And so far, this whole trip is like a nice vacation. Ito Starstein, there's a great deal of danger, as you soon learn. You're right. Good luck. I hope the rest of the trip is easy. Oh, oh, oh. Down there. What's that? Ito, switch off the radio. Right. Hayata, steer us away. Hurry. <laughs> I can't. I can't control the ship. That's a crazy idea. It might work. That beam of light is coming straight into the sky from somewhere under the ground. Try to get over it. Yes, sir. I tried to turn and the control stuck, sir. Mm -hmm. There was a strong force in that light. I figured we could use a magnetic pull to our advantage and get over the top of it. And it worked. Mm. Hmm. Captain, it must have affected the engine.
Science Patrol aircraft, can you hear me? Over. This is Fuji at Science Patrol headquarters. Come in, Science Patrol ship. Come in, please. Calling the Science Patrol aircraft. <clears throat> Patrol headquarters calling the patrol ship. Fuji. Can you hear me? Fuji. Come in, please. Fuji. Can you this hear us? Fuji at Science Patrol us? headquarters. Oh. Captain! Oh. Captain, are you all right? Oh. 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 Ito's cut his head. Arashi, take care of the wound. Yes, sir. Oh. 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 Come on, Ito, be a big boy, huh? Nobody knows where we are, and there's no way we can send out a message giving our location. That town ought to be near here. Why don't we all try walking to it? Walk? I don't think he's kidding. Well, why don't we search this area? Who knows what we'll find? Good idea. You've been hurt, Ito. So you stay here. Arashi, Adam, and you, Hayata, come with me. Yes. I want to go along with all of you, Captain. I don't want to stay here alone. Ito, the ship will serve as our headquarters. You've got to repair the radio so we can report our whereabouts. We're counting on your skill with electronics. Can you fix the radio? I can. Counter is reacting. Let's go on. Sir, knock. I wonder if it's radioactive. I'll check it. This is the meteorite, but I don't think it caused that magnetic wall. Then what did cause it, Captain? Uh, I don't know. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Oh. oh, I wonder if it's coming from the radio. It had huge antlers and it was uh, kicking up the sun. Captain, come here, sir. What is it? Look. I'll go down and investigate. Good idea. Hold this, sir. <sighs> oh! Oh! Arashi! I what do we do, sir? Arashi! Wall of light. 
right. That's what was sending it. Oh, the gun. Oh. There goes my gun. I'll get it. Forget it. Men, let's get out of here. mysterious town I've told you about. The writing says this is the town of Falage. I see. Let's go in. Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat. Oh, now I remember. That's where Noah's Ark landed. That's right. That's quite a place there. I thought they'd understand the language of this area, but they can't. I suspect they speak in some ancient tongue. I don't understand. Adam, can you understand any of that? Not a word. Princess! Princess? There's a princess? She understands English. Yes. You have studied in America, then? I have never been anywhere. I've remained right here. I've had no reason to leave my homeland. How did you learn English? I didn't learn it, really. I inherited the ability to read minds, and you are thinking in English. Ah, you read minds. It is a gift of the gods, and it was handed down to me from my ancestors. In the past, this was a busy city. Men visited it from all over the world. It was known as the capital of the desert. And when they came here, they brought the treasures of the West to trade for the treasures of the East. But then, they no longer would come to trade because after they left here, they disappeared. Nobody who ever left came back. We never heard from them again. I know exactly what happened to them. Out there in the desert is the answer. A giant monster, hidden beneath the sand, was waiting to trap them. A monster? Yes. 
that lived there for centuries. Are you certain? It was out there all those years. Then why hasn't the monster destroyed this town? Ultra has been protecting it. Ultra, you say? Adam, I wonder if she could mean Ultraman. So do I. Just who is this Ultra? Can you tell us? Tom. The statue has protected us. The monster is afraid of that object in the statue's hand, and so it stays away from our town. What's in his hand? Do you know? Hmm. Must be some kind of good luck charm. I see. Hmm. Ultra. So that's how he was known, huh? No doubt Ultraman used to come here to Earth in order to save it from the monsters that attacked in the past. So, in gratitude, the people built a statue to him. Mm -hmm. And so far, the town's had good luck. That huge monster has stayed away because it's afraid Ultraman may return.
tremendous energy Ultraman gets from the sun diminishes rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The blinking light is a warning. Should the light go out, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again. if he brought that stone from outer space. Oh, it doesn't matter. The important thing is it worked. Hmm. Uh-oh. There. I think she'll be all right. Your Highness, our mission here has been completed now. Yes, it has. You have all my gratitude. My people and I thank you. Now you can go back to your own country. And we shall build our town again. You will restore it to its greatness. Once again, it will be a center for world trade. And men will visit it from all over. But I don't desire it to be like that. One finds serenity and peace here in the desert. The people will be happier. And will be far from wars and the like. That's true. Won't you find it lonely? I guess. There are a lot of memories here that are good company. And two, I'll be here in the town where I was born, among the people I love. They are my subjects, and I must continue to watch over them. Come, I will take you to the gate, but I trust that you will return. And so the town will be there a thousand years from now, as it has been for thousands of years in the past. I only wish that we could have done more than we did. Captain Mora, you did a lot more than your duty. Let's go. Oi, Hayata. Ifuji tai in demkai no vito de katotsai wa moiru sabaku ni wakare o sumesu. 